Welcome back friends. This is Ramesh Sharma here. So today in this video we are going to see how to add this text editor in the React JS. So you can see that we have this this text editor here and you can see that this one is the heading one. So we you can change this to the any other heading as well. Heading 2 and heading 1 is there. So and you can see the preview here as well. So it will return as the HTML. So this this text editor we are going to create in this video. So we are going to use the library here to add this this text editor. So now without wasting any time, let's get into the coding section. To create rich text editor in the React, so we have many libraries, but these two are the most popular libraries. Those are the React Quill and React Draft. So this React Draft is based on the Draft JS, and it is also very simple and it's very popular. And then the second is React Quill. So React Quill is very easy to install and it's very easy. It will give you a HTML as a return value. So you can see that. So we have to just write React Quill, and after that theme, if you want the theme, so that type of theme you can add, and then just like a input. we can control its input so in this video we are going to use this react quill and i will show you how you can add the this text editor with the preview so now without wasting any time let's get into the coding section so this is our empty project here so here what we have to do first and you can see that our server is running and here only the hello world is here so first of all we have to install the library here So let's install that library, and it, the library name is React Quill. So when I will go here, and I will go to the React Quill documentation, I will close this, and here you can see that we can use npm install React Quill. So here I will be using yarn, so that's why I will use yarn add React Quill. So let's go to the coding section again. Yarn add React Quill. Just press enter. So this will install React Quill for us. So now let's set up the UI. So here to set up the UI here, what we have to do? So first of all, here we have this app. So I'm changing this to a container, and after that we will be having the row. So we will be having the row here, and after that here we have to add a display flex. So for that, but I'm going to add here. So here, I want to add the editor. So here, I will give a class. It has editor. So our editor will be there. So that editor is rich text editor. And here, there will be the preview. Here will be the preview. So when I will write here. editor editor and here will be the preview preview just save this so now we have not added any css here and you can see that we have here editor and preview so now uh, we have to split this so let's do that so here what i'm going to do so i'm going to the css here and here i will apply first of all for the container So for the container, what we have to do? So here will be first of all position will be relative, and height will be one hundred bh, and width will be one hundred percent. One hundred percent width will be there. Now let's move towards the row. So for the row, height will be one hundred percent, and width will be. One hundred percent. So here, what we have to do? So you can see that in that we in the row we have two divs here, one for the editor and one for the preview. So here, what to do here? So here we have to apply the display flex. So display flex and align items center, and we also have to justify the content center. So when you will see this, and here let's go here. So now you can see that we are at the center here. We have editor and preview in the inline. 
so now we have to create a border between this one and now this editor should be at left side and this preview should be at left side so we have to divide it by 50 50 so here what we will do so here we have the row here and then here i will target the editor editor so its position will be relative and here we need the height as 100 percent so height will be 100 percent and we need the width so width will be 50 percent so width will be 50 percent and we want display flex align it up center justify content center and just save it so now when i will go to the home so here you can see that we have this editor here so now it is having width 50 and height as 100 percent but it is coming at the center so this is because this preview is not having height and width same as editor so for that what i have to do so i will go to the editor i will copy this and here i will add the comma and i will add the preview as well so for the preview and it editor we will be having the same css now when we will go here so now you can see that they are separated so now we can add one border here so if you want to add you can add one border here so to that so i will add the border in the preview so dot preview here the border will be like one pixel solid black just save this So border left will be there. So we need the border left and it is dot preview only. So now you can see that we have the border here. So we have the border, but you can see that we have some space at the top as well. So now we have to remove that space as well. So for that, I will go to index.css and here I will write margin zero and padding zero and box size as box sizing as border box so just save this so when i will go here so now you can see that we don't have any uh, space over there so now here we need one editor here and then here we have to show the preview of that editor so now let's do that we have already installed the editor so just we have to configure it so let's do this so here let's go to the rectangle documentation and here what we have to do so you can see that uh, we have to import this rectangle from react and then we have to import the css so i'm just going to copy this and here let's go to the app.jsx and here we have to add the import here so now we have the rectangle so we will go to the editor pane and here we will add rectangle and here the theme will be snow here so now we have to manage the state here so that will be the value and we are going to set the value so we have to import the state from the react and then here we have to add the value here so value so value will be like it's that is value and we have to apply the on change method as well so on change so just we are going to set the value here so on change we are going to set the value so here will be the restricts editor and set value it will be e dot target dot value here. so just save this so now we have the preview here so we can now show the preview here as well so let's show the preview so for that what we are going to do here so we have to dangerously set the html so let me show you something so here when i will add the value here so when i will show the value here so let's see what is happening here so now let's go back to coding section and you can see that we have had this editor here so but it is not good so we have to set its css as well so first of all uh, let's set its css so for that what i'm going to do so i'm going to add the class here so class name so class name will be the editor 
text uh, or editor input editor input so i'm go just going to copy this and save this so now we will target the editor input here so here what i'm going to do its height will be 100 percent and we need its width to be 100 percent so just save this when you will go back and now you can see that our editor is full screen so here you can see that we have very few toolbars here so we have very few toolbars so now let's see how we can add the toolbars so how we can configure the toolbars so to configure the toolbars we have to add modules here so here toolbars are known as modules so we have to add the modules here so for that i am going to add the modules here and here you can see that on change uh, we have to and in the on change just we have to add the set value here so because here e will uh, not be there so because this rectangle is doing what rectangle is giving us a html so for that everything it will do here so it will return as the html so that's why we just have to pass set value here only so other thing will be done by the rectangle so it's very easy so now here we have to add the modules here so let's define some modules so modules modules and here for the toolbar we have to define the modules here for the toolbar so first of all there will be a heading here so we have to define the toolbar for heading so there is an array so array for the header so we have the header so how we want the header so that is 3 and we want 4 and we want 5 and up to 6 heading we want this header here and after that we want the font as well so we want the font so here will be the font as well so font is there and after that we need the size as well so just save this so this one is actually a first block of the toolbar so in the first block of the toolbar we want these things so now when i will go here and here what is the error so actually we got some errors here so just reload this yeah so i'm reloading this now you can see that we have this heading here so we have the headings but we are not getting any other uh, like font and anything here so for that what we have to do so i am just going to remove this so for that i am adding another thing here so that will be for the font and other we need the size so just save this so now you will get here the font as well as size so we have to refresh it so you can see that we have the normal we have font as and serif mono space and we can have many fonts and then small normal large and huge so this is a size of the font and other more things we can add such as they can be bold italic underline style so these are the tools that we need so we have to refresh it so now you can see that we have these toolbars here so we can bold italic underline and strike through the text as well so we can add quotes as well and other toolbars you can also add so at last we will be having the list so like user can add list user can add bullet list and user can add order list and intent like this one uh, so here will be this just save this so when i will refresh this so here uh, you can define like what type of tool you want so this is intent so this intent is like spacing is there so this is actually a spacing so this intent is there and then you can create the order list you can also create the unordered list like this one you can create and after that you can pass many other parameters as well so such as image so we want image uh, link image and video in the one block so that we can also do so you can add the link you can add the link like hello so we have to add the link here so what is the link 
like HTTP s www.google.com just save it so now it is having the link here so you can access this link as well and you can add the image even the video as well so for now i will just show you these toolbars only and other you can uh, see the reactical documentation and there you will get like how many toolbars you want to add so this is done now let's set the preview here so like let's write anything welcome to fully world web tutorials channel so this will be our heading so now we have to change this to the heading here so let it be heading one now you can see that this is a is having the heading one but here you can see the html here because this one is running us html so now what we have to do so we have to render this html so for that what we do in the html so now what i am going to do so i am going to change this div to a self closing div and then here i am going to set the dangerously set the inner html so this one is attribute so where i will set the inner html so i will do the dom manipulation here uh, in the react so this property of jsx i will use and then and un un in this property i am going to pass the object and under that i am going to override the html inner html of this div and that is that is the value that we are getting from the react query so now let's see the changes so now you can see that we are getting welcome to the fully world web tutorials channel so here this one is at the center but we don't want that so for that what i'm going to do so i'm just going to copy these things copy this and i'm going to remove this preview etc and in the preview i'm going to paste these things just save this because i don't want anything in the center but i'm adding the padding here so padding as 10 pixel just save this so now you can see that it is at the top and from the top everything will be there so here what i'm going to do so here i have to set the overflow as well so i'm going to set the overflow so in the preview set overflow overflow will be scroll just save this so overflow from y i need as a scroll here so here now let's add anything so you can add any image as well or you can add the link as well so let's write a link for fully word web tutorials channel so channel link so now i have to change this to a link here so let's change this https www.youtube.com slash fully world web tutorials just save this so now you can see that it is mapped to our youtube channel and if you are new to my channel then please like this channel subscribe this channel and you can see this link is perfectly working and now you can add some list as well or you can make this bold italic underline is also there you can strike through this one as well and you can change this to a code as well so now uh, for today this is enough so i have told you like how you can add rich text editor in your react app so you can use this react tool and you can try react draft as well so that one is also a good one so for today this is enough if you have any queries please comment in one section i will definitely respond that and last time so watching please like subscribe and share our channel